How's it going friends? Reckless Yuki here and in this video what I'd like to do is give you a demonstration of why I love dynamic microphones and why they're the microphone of choice for me when I'm doing YouTube gaming or Twitch streaming. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And the microphone that you're hearing me on now is my Rode Lavalier here on my shirt and it's connected to my Zoom H1 and this will be synced up in post recording but this is what you'll be hearing now. And if you're wondering which microphone you guys are listening to I'll have a I guess description down at the bottom of the screen to share with you what mic I'm currently using. And now we're gonna switch over to my Heil PR40 here. This is the, like, my favorite dynamic microphone from a video I did way back when. And this is my ideal dynamic microphone. It's going through my Mackie mixer and then going to my uh, Complete Audio 6 audio interface going to my PC, so two separate chains. And I don't necessarily have a condenser mic to share with you guys, but anyone who knows anything about microphones understand that condenser mics are very, very sensitive and they'll pick everything up. So the focus of this video is to show you how little a dynamic microphone will pick up the outside sounds of your sound bubble here. So that's the kind of focus on the video. And then also later on, this, this isn't necessarily going through my gate compressor or limiter. This is just going straight to the mixer, straight to the uh, audio interface, but I'm gonna also hook it up to my gate so you can see the effects of the gate and how little or how much it affects the um, like how much extra sound that the microphone will pick up compared to your voice so that'll be pretty cool too so really hopefully you guys enjoy and to start off the video we're going to switch back to my lavalier here um, I'm going to turn on my air conditioner just so you guys can hear that in the background and I'll just stay completely silent but I'll turn it on and I'll switch between the two just to kind of give a good representation of what uh, ambient sound like sounds like all right and then I'll talk a little bit just so you can kind of hear uh, how much your voice is able to overpower the background noise but then how much that noise really affects your quality of the voice and the quality of the audio so anyways let's turn on my AC All right, so it's uh, definitely on, it's blowing cold air, which feels awesome. And uh, that's basically what it sounds like in the background, which my lavalier is picking up and how my dynamic picks it up. So in the whole video, I'm just gonna be switching between the two. And also, I'm not sure how good of a job uh, the dynamic is keeping away from the AC or how much that's actually getting picked up from my dynamic. So let's go ahead and plug in my gate and limiter and see if that helps. Uh, you know, minimize the sound. So I'm not sure how much it's gonna help. I won't know until after this video is edited and uploaded, but I guess we'll see together. So anyways, let's turn on my gate or actually plug it in. So I'm looking at the uh, uh, my screen and it's definitely blocked out all the uh, excess sound from the AC. So if I don't talk, the noise from the AC isn't strong enough to punch through the gate. But if I stay silent, nothing definitely gets picked up. But anyways, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna unplug the gate and then turn off the AC. Then we're gonna turn my fans on max and see how that sounds. All right, so now that the AC is off, uh, just to give you a little description as far as the fans in my PC, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six uh, Noctua PPC 3000 fans, so they're able to spin up at 3000 RPM, so they're loud as hell. And then uh, I'll definitely be able to hear them with my lavalier. Uh, you might be able to hear them a little bit with the dynamic alone, but when it comes to the dynamic with the gate and compressor, you definitely won't be able to hear. So that's something that's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to go to here and then let's turn on the fans on max so i mean that's definitely audible i mean my pc is only like you know 
a hand like about an arm length away from me so it's definitely close to like my microphones are definitely close to the sound uh let me just scoot in as if i'm actually playing a game Yeah, so that's that's definitely noticeable. I'm pretty sure it's noticeable, but let me just plug in my gate and compressor so that you guys could hear the difference between the dynamic without it and the, the, then the dynamic with it. So just a second. Okay, so that's the sound of my dynamic without the gate. And well, this is now with the gate, so you can hear the difference that it just basically blocked out all the sound. And that's basically what a gate does. So like the AC test, we're testing out the fan. So I think they're about the same as far as how much noise is in the background with my dynamic compared to my lavalier. So that's, it's an interesting test or an interesting video to do just to kind of hear the differences of everything. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, Let's go and turn these off. Actually, I'm gonna unplug the gate again and then uh, we'll try something else. All right, so I turned the fans on silent so you won't be able to hear them and they shouldn't be picked up at all. Let me just check to make sure. Yeah, they're, they're definitely not getting picked up. So anyways, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bang on the keyboard just to kind of hear how well this mic will pick it up compared to my dynamic, and then have the dynamic go through the gate just to see how much of the noise is taken away. And so that'll be another cool test. So just have this like this, and I'm going to just press on the shift and control because those don't really matter with the uh, auditions here. If I try to bang on the space bar, it's gonna stop the recording and then that'll kind of you know, invalidate the test. <laughs> so let's try this. So I'm going to uh, start pressing now, like what I would normally press it when I'm actually gaming. So we'll try it out. Oh, and if you're wondering about the keyboard, this is a Corsair K70 and it has the Cherry MX Reds in it. So it's a mechanical keyboard, so it's not quiet, but it's uh, you know definitely not too, too loud. But then this is kind of just what it sounds like when I'm pressing on it normally with uh, my lavalier and my dynamic. So you kind of hear the sound comparison of how well they block out a sound like this. Okay, and then I'm going to plug in my gate so that you could hear the difference with my dynamic. So you definitely can't hear it. I mean, I'm swapping between the lavalier and the dynamic going through the gate just so you could kind of hear that. I am pressing it at the same, like I'm assuming that I'm pressing at the same hardness, but the uh, dynamic with the gate definitely isn't picking it up. All right, now the uh, final test that I wanna do is I'm just gonna bang on the control key, press it pretty hard, like slam on it. And then I'm gonna compare how well my lavalier picks it up, the dynamic going through the gate, and then I'll un unplug the gate and then see how well the dynamics able to do without the assistance of the gate. So here we go. All right, now I'm gonna unplug the gate.
And now I'm just going to press it normally again as if you're just normally gaming. So, as you can see, that's the power of the dynamic microphone, and that's why I love it so much. And that's why I choose to use it for when I'm doing YouTube or Twitch. So if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of it. And hopefully this will kind of shed a little bit of light on why I prefer dynamics over condenser microphones. And uh, why I don't mind having something like this in your face, especially when you're making videos. Because the audio quality that you get from it is superior, I feel, especially for these type of applications. But anyways, that's it for the video. I'll talk to you guys again in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.